This is Navajo Nation, the largest Native American territory. It covers more than 17 million acres, including parts of Arizona, Utah, and New Mexico. Where we are right now is probably the most remote area on the Navajo Nation. 40% of Navajos living on the reservation do not have running water. We have to go out and use the outhouse. And we have to bring our own waters in to wash our hands. UA members help to bring running water to three Navajo families for the first time in their lives. It's a jaw dropper for most of the members when they come in and they see the conditions that these folks are living in. And, and I think that's what really, really compels the UA members to say, this is it, we're here to work. When you see the families here and you see what they don't have and what they're going to have when we leave, it makes this whole trip worth it. I could have had 20, 30, 40 volunteers. Everybody at Local 412 wants to volunteer for this. Everybody's been asking. My grandparents actually did grow up without electricity, without water. Just having that feeling of coming home, coming to my home and being able to make a little bit of an impact, you know, leave a little bit of footstep, you know, it, it was, it's awesome. I always wanted something like this happening and I didn't know how I could be the one to contribute back to our people like this because it's the reason why I became a plumber, you know, so I can help my people. Volunteers connected water supplies, installed tankless heaters, and built bathrooms and kitchens. I get to give my mom a full shower every day, which is, I think, is really awesome. We don't have to take a, the whole bucket of water, whatever she used, to take out, to dump out. Emma, on behalf of I Wish and Dig Deep, I would like you to try your water for the first time. If you could please turn it on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>